Hi, in this video I am going to explain how to extract some variables from an equation of F1. Well, at this point I am working with the cavity case and running the ICOF1 solver. Well, people usually run this case typing in the terminal ICOF1. And after a few seconds, when simulation was finished, then you get those files for every time state defined in the control dict directory. In those folders are stored the main data for post processing in ParaView or in Open Form. For example, if we take a look uh, to this file. Here is contained all the data needed for plotting the scalar field or the, or the vector field of a variable. But if for some reason you need to plot an X value diagram, it is not possible because we have not any time. We have just one column, and all of this data is about pressure in this case. But if you if you want to do that, then you can do the follow. But before I am going to delete those files, uh, returning to the terminal, I am going to re execute the case, typing again a perform, but adding the next syntax. Ampersand log space ampersand and type in enter um, again after uh, some seconds we can see that we have uh, the same folders that we have before but in this case we have a new a new file this log file this log file was created during, during the execu execution of the simulation if we open this file we can see that is stored all, all the history of the simulation what you saw before on the screen now is stored in this file that is needed for the following part well I am going to return to the terminal and execute this command form log send the name of the log file in this case is simply log and type enter well in the folder case we can see that we have a new folder called logs in this folder are different variables for example the x velocity Y velocity, pressure, execution time, current maximum, mean current. You can plot any of these files in MATLAB, Octab, Gini plot, or in a spreadsheet. For example, I'm gonna open this file. sheet of the Ubuntu and as you can see now you have two columns the first column is for the time and the second column is for the current number the maximum current number if we plot this data Then we get the following. I want to plot in a distortion graph using lines. Here you can see the evolution along time of the maximum current number. In the same way, you can plot 
any of the rest of the variables depending on what you need. Well, I hope that this is useful for you. Um, see you later. Bye.